EA Sports. It's in the game. And we have Derby Fair on the menu today, and we never tire of bringing you this fixture, the Nerazzurri against the Rossoneri. My name is Derek Ray, and alongside me here in the commentary position is Stuart Robson. Stuart, a lot to look forward to here. Well, Derek, this is Italian football at its very best. Great atmosphere, two teams with a wonderful history and a big rivalry. This should be good today. Here's the Milan team. Mike Mignon begins in goal. Teo Hernandez starts with Davide Calabria in the fullback positions. And getting the vote of confidence in attack today, Olivier Giroud.
at the Inter team. Sami Handanovic gets the nod in goal. Milan Striniar plays alongside Stefan de Vrij in central defence. Hakan Chalhanolu starts alongside Marcelo Brozovic in the centre of midfield. And Edin Dzeko starts alongside Lautaro Martinez. And now they get the ball rolling. And space for them here on the flank. And space for the cross. Great strong tackle, throw in forthcoming. Chalanolu. It was intended for Dzeko. And clears the danger. Well, every team needs an effective and proficient leader of the line, and Olivier Giroud falls in that category. Stuart, what should we look forward to seeing from him today? Well, Derek, I'm sure he's going to be tightly marked today because in the last match, he was outstanding. He got his two goals, but it's his general play that was brilliant, and I'm sure we're going to see more of the same today. Brozovic. Plenty of running room in the wide position. And a chance to whip it in here. Calabria. Kessier has it. Brozovic. Barella has it. Dzeko. And the pass was just that little bit off. Nearly found its target. Calabria. Still on level terms, moving the ball nicely. Oh, this is looking promising. All that hard to deal with crosses like that. Chalanolu. And given away. Diaz. And possibilities here. And reading it absolutely superbly. Well read to put an end to that attack. Jihou. SCA has it. Opportunity to deliver the cross. Pumped clear. Giroud. Kessier has it. Oh, big opportunity. Great reflex action. Well, that should have been a goal. Mind you, it's a brilliant save. And the referee now going back to deal with the earlier incident. A yellow card it's going to be. And over comes the corner. Goalkeeper's ball, it was always going to be that way. Barella. 
Now Dzeko. Well, no stopping him. Dzeko. Given away by Inter. And there it is, the half-time whistle. One thing Olivier Giroud has is know-how, but is this a below-par performance from him so far? Well, he struggled to have any real impact on the game. I think if they are to kick on in the second half, it's key that he sees a bit more of the ball, and hopefully with that, he can start to put that back line under a bit more pressure. So they get the ball rolling in the second half. Even Steven here. So little to choose between the sides. Sandro Tonali. Brahim Diaz now. As clean as a whistle, that challenge. Brozovic. Dzeko. Well, they must exercise caution standing off as they are. Martinez. Passing it around, looking for the goal that would put them ahead. Perisic. And Dzeko's in there, struggling to get it away. Can they hit on the break? Oh, great vision. And a really single-minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened. Well, as the stats show us, this has been a really even game so far. There just hasn't been enough guile or invention in the top third of the field from either team, which needs to change at some point. Takes it on! Somehow kept out by Handanovic! Well, they've been frustrated for quite a while now, but these fans have suddenly come to life. Delivering it. Well, no end product. Giroud. Diaz. This looks promising. Moving the ball effectively, looking for the right moment. Rafael Leao. Possession one. Breaking at pace. And the referee spotted the foul, but has played advantage. Dzeko. Well, they've given him too much space. And intercepted it. Sandro Tonali. Brahim Diaz now. Top class defending. The Rossoneri pushing forward with options available. But a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. Dzeko. Ten minutes to go then. Can they nudge in front late on here? Going about his defensive business with a minimum of fuss. Well, Inter have to get the ball forward quickly now. The crowd are demanding just that little bit more effort. What a finish we've got on our hands here. Now, high quality defending. And a free kick awarded by the referee. 
Well, sensible refereeing, you might say. Now he goes back and hands out the yellow card, Stuart. Yeah, that's very good. He let the play continue and then came back for the earlier challenge. Well, they've decided to make a change. Well, he was under a bit of pressure, but he'll feel he should have done a bit better with the header. Sandro Tonali and they're on the front foot looking for a winner near the end of this game Vidal now Brozovic well just one minute of time added on for stoppages here promising looking ball and he's clear as lines that is that after 90 minutes they are level and extra time is coming up So back in business here, the first period of extra time, and it might well come down to mental fortitude. Who wants this more? Alessandro Bastoni. The ball with Martinez. Vidal. Ivan Perisic. Not the pass he had in mind. Vidal still pushing for that goal that would see them forge ahead Brozovic Alexis Sanchez well a top notch piece of defensive judgment Salamakers And he read it well, intercepting it. Well, failure to keep the ball by the Nerazzurri. It needs an accurate cross. Real chance! And how well the keeper did. Well, that's just exceptional. He reacted so quickly there. decided that now is the time to go to the bench trying to deliver it accurately keeper did his job to begin with half time in extra time and still they are level Well, the big question, who will come out on top? We're into the second period of extra time here. Alexis Sanchez. Barella. Passing it around, looking for the goal that would put them ahead. Can they get in behind them? A delivery towards the back post. Well, in fact, a bit too close to the goalkeeper. And that was always going to be claimed.
And he did well to cut it out. Inter still on the attack in the game's closing moments. A level contest. Well, he has players waiting at the back post. Lack of guile with regard to that cross. Goalkeeper's ball. Excellent use of the ball as they make their way forward. Salamakers. Calabria. Promising possession, this. Well, they're sitting ever deeper. A deft clearance. Locked together then, these two sides. And on we go now to penalty kicks. And now they get the ball rolling. And so the penalty shootout about to commence. And as a player, and confidently converted. Can he get the better of the keeper? And that is when you need your goalkeeper. He's gambled on direction and won. And he finds the net he could hardly miss. Composure is so important under these trying circumstances. In it goes. Oh, a superb save. Can he convert? And just like that, he's come up with the save. Well, chance wasted. And now a heaven-sent opportunity to win the match. In it goes! That seals it! Well, under pressure, that's a very composed penalty. And over the course of the game, they just about deserved it. And now they get the ball rolling. Great reflex action. Well, that should have been a goal. Mind you, it's a brilliant save. Takes it on. Somehow kept out by Handanovic. Well, they've been frustrated for quite a while now, but these fans have suddenly... Well, he was under a bit of pressure, but he'll feel he should have done a bit better with the header. It needs an accurate cross. Real chance! And how well the keeper did. Well, that's just exceptional. He reacted so quickly there.